Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I just I stand briefly to indicate that um, I think um, the resolution is a step in the right direction, and um, the reason for saying so, Mr. Speaker, is because I, I, I do believe that funds, as indicated there, should be separate and apart from what goes into the consolidated consolidation fund, um, because I remember many, many years ago, um, in a different environment, um, a, a group of us were arguing that uh, governments are some of the biggest money launderers because you seize money from people and then you now go out and spend that money, which was proceeds of crime. But Mr. Speaker, I wanted to um, seek some clarification from the member for Castries, this Prime Minister, Minister of Finance, with regards to this particular resolution. Um, I noticed he answered one of them by indicating that um, the request was as a recommendation of the Caribbean Task Force and um, in terms of establishing the, the account. I, was also, I, I would also like to find out whether the recent um, passing of the, the security and health levy, whether the security aspect would be going into that uh, account at all, considering the proceeds of the account is to assist in crime prevention and, and, and um, law enforcement and other measures of national security. Um, we also know, Mr. Speaker, that when these funds are um, seized or repossessed or, or, or assets, um, unless, unless the court has made a, a ruling, um, really and truly the, the funds cannot be spent. And so I was asking whether it will still be going into that account or whether there's an escrow account that it will be held as separate and apart from. And um, just one more request, Mr. Speaker, is that I know um, from my experience in the, in, in the last government, um, some of these funds were used to assist the police in vehicles and, 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 and the likes. And um, I'm, I'm, I'm hoping, you know, that a request for an unmarked vehicle for Chozel Saltibus could be made available because, you know, Chozel, I've always said it is one of the largest communities. And um, it's really unfortunate recently some of the incidents happening in Chozel. And I just want to inform St. Lucians and those elements out there who think they can come to Chozel that the good and upright citizens of Chozel Saltibus will not tolerate that kind of activity. And um, I've always told the, the, the Prime Minister that when it comes to crime fighting, you know, he has my support when it comes to that. It's, it's really unfortunate that there's a spill, a spillover. Um, and I always caution, you know, St. Lucian that we should never celebrate anything happening in one area because the possibilities of it spilling over is very, very likely. So this is just some of the questions I would like to see clarification, particularly whether the um, proceeds of the, the, the levy as a lump sum and maybe can be highlighted when the, the accounting is done. Um, I guess to make the accounting process a lot easier and streamline it. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.